Hi, I'm Bill with US Saws, and I'm going to do an unboxing on an ICS 695 power grit chainsaw. We've just unloaded the box. I'm going to get that out of the way. And here's the saw. And you can see the contents that comes with this is a chain and a bar, and all of your safety hardware comes inside that package. We're going to mount up the bar here real quick and show you how to get that adjusted before the first operation. First thing you'll do, remove the side cover plate. This allows you to see the drive sprocket right here. And as you can see, the tooth that drives the chain comes right out to the end. These are wear items, so that will wear out over time and you'll want to inspect that little tooth right there. Here's your bar that's going to set in on this square notch right here. And we're going to set this up so it's vertical and it'll kind of stay in place a little bit. And the chain's just going to drape over the bar. And we're going to walk this all the way around and get it set up so it sits on the sprocket. Everything fits a little bit tight here at first, but we'll get it worked on and get that mounted up. All right, so I've got that set in here loosely. Make sure that all the drive lugs on the chain are in the chain. All right, we're gonna mount the side cover on. And that just slides in and I'm going to tighten this nut partially just by hand because now what we're going to do is adjust the bar and chain and one thing you always want to do with this is adjust it so that you're lifting up on the tip of the bar because when you push down on this the first time, the force is gonna raise that up. So we're just gonna tighten this down a little tiny bit. And now we're gonna adjust the chain. All right, and you can see I'm gonna adjust this so it's just got, while I'm lifting on the front, I'm gonna adjust this just so I have a little slack, just about the length of the drive tooth visible on the bottom of this chain. <clears throat> and then once I think I have that right, I'm gonna snug up the side cover and make sure everything slides. There we go, everything's moving really nicely there. I've got a little bit of slack in the chain and now I'm gonna really put some pressure on that to make sure everything's good and tight and we're good to go, we're ready to operate. All right, now that we've got the saw set up, we're actually gonna do a live cut. I wanna show you a couple of features of this saw. We've got the chain, of course, properly tensioned. Here's your fuel fill. I recommend using bottled fuel for that. On the back of the saw, you've got your kill switch, your fuel primer bulb, and your choke. And up on top, you've got a decompression button which helps make starting the saw a little bit easier. So let's start it up and we'll make a cut. One note before I start the saw is you have to use a pressurized water system with this tool. It's very important as it cools the inside of the chain and the bar. You cannot rely on water in the pipe to do any of that. All right, let's get it started. Choke on, pump the fuel a couple of times, decompression button, and I'm gonna give it a pull.
All right, you want to make sure that you flush out the hose and bar. You want to wipe that saw down with some WD-40 just to keep it looking clean and nice. And otherwise, you're ready for the next cut. All right, so to take care of the saw, just ductile. We'll leave a little residue and can rust up on the saw. So a little WD-40 on the bar and chain. Make sure you work that all the way around. Pull that chain out, make sure everything's nice and lubricated. One word of caution, always wear gloves when you're moving the chain. This is a pinch point between the chain and the bar, so you've got to be very careful. Those are sharp edges. So go ahead and wipe the saw down, and it'll be ready to go for the next cock.